What is happening, my friends? My name is Ronan. This is the Little Seal English Podcast. And by the end of this podcast, you're going to learn a couple of different insults for friends or for enemies. Why would you insult your friend? Because it's fucking fun. That's what we do. We poke fun of each other. Have you got a friend that you're able to just make fun of or joke with or something, these are perfect for those situations. Now, some of the insults that you're going to learn in this podcast are a little bit extreme, but you know, it's up to you to figure out which ones are too extreme for your buddies. As always, I hope you enjoy. And I should say, on January 22nd, I'm kicking off my quick and dirty English free training week. If you haven't signed up, shame on you. If you have, I can't wait. And if you haven't, go to my website, Click the link in the description. You have a couple of days left. Sign up, sign up, sign up. But now, sit back, relax, get ready to learn some random insults in English. Here we go. Good morning, my friends. So, I was just browsing online and I came across a really, really cool set of memes. And the memes are about favourite insults. And of course, I just had to record a podcast based on this. So the very first insult that is on this set of memes is, why don't you act like your hairline and take a few steps back? Ouch. That is brutal. That is painful. That is almost personal. So your hairline, now this is mostly applicable to men, all right, mostly applicable to men. And your hairline is literally the line on your head where your hair stops to grow. Hair line. It's usually like the edge of a person's hair, especially on the forehead. Now, for men, you would generally have like a receding hairline, receding, to recede. And that means it's going back and back and back further. And you know, there's different types of hairlines. There's like a low hairline, a middle hairline, receding hairline, and a cow lick hairline. So Google those and you'll find different images of different types of hairline. But if someone says, why don't you act like your hairline and take a few steps back? They're telling you to back off and they're basically insulting the fact that you might not have a lot of hair or that your hairline is going back. Now, my name is Ronan and as you might know if you've seen my videos or anything like that, I'm bald. I shave my head on a regular basis. Not because... I have a receding hairline because I actually have a bald patch on top of my head, not a receding hairline. If I grow my hair, you probably wouldn't even know I have a bald patch because I'm a lot taller than most people. In fact, my wife did not even know I had a bald patch for quite a few months into our relationship. We often joke about it. Sometimes people have a receding hairline and they're just unable to accept that they're going to go bald. Now, this one can also be quite insulting because a lot of men, a lot of men are very, very self-conscious. Self-conscious of the fact that they're losing their hair. I'll be honest, I was kind of scared to shave my head the first time I did it. What if I have a weird shaped head? What if I look strange or something? Because, you know, for men, there is a lot of pressure in society to have a beautiful, luscious, long locks of hair on your head. So if you use this one, it might be a little bit too personal for some people. In fact, I know a couple of guys that I would never even dare joke about their hair Because I know how self-conscious they are. In fact, I know one guy that his wife or his girlfriend, excuse me, his girlfriend was over the moon when he finally shaved his head. So he, like myself, had a bit of a ball patch. He had a receding hairline and it was getting kind of obvious. But he was too afraid to do it. Long story short, one day he decided to shave his head, get his zero all over, go bald, completely bald. And guess what? He's a new man. He is a new man. There's a good expression. Write that one down. He is a new man man. And if you are a new man, you have so much confidence. You know, something has changed about you and you're walking and talking differently. So he is a new man since he got his hair cut. He's a new man since he accepted his baldness and took the leap to shave his head. He's no longer self-conscious. Before 
He got his head shaved. He wouldn't allow his girlfriend to walk behind him. He'd have to let her go downstairs first or something like that because he was so, so, so self-conscious of his hair. So if you're listening to this and you have a receding hairline, if you're listening to this and you have a bald patch, just letting you know, folks, it's not as bad as you think. And another thing, honestly, people don't care. That's another thing I've noticed. People do not care. In fact, people would have more admiration for you if you did just shave it off. Sometimes people go to Turkey and they get a hair transplant. I mentioned Turkey because in Europe, that is one of the primary destinations to go for cosmetic surgery for men. So much so that there is a plane. <laughs> this is quite a funny one. You know, you take an airplane to Turkey. Well, in Ireland, they often call it the hair plane to Turkey. And that is for men who are taking the hair plane to Turkey so they can get a new head of hair. I, for one, did not do that because I just accepted my genetics. I accepted the fact that I was going bald. But I love, love, love this insult. So one more time, why don't you act like your hairline and take a few steps back? All right, number two on the list of insults. You look like something my left hand drew. Ouch. Another brutal insult. Brutal. B-R-U-T-A-L. Brutal. You look like something my left hand drew. Let's be honest, most people in the world are right-handed. Left-handed people are few and far between us. And if you draw with your left hand, it's probably not going to be very good. Like, picture it for a second. If you try to draw a person with your left hand, it's not going to look like a person. If you try to draw a face with your left hand, it's not going to look like a person. It's going to be very disproportionate. Dis proportionate. That is the the adjective we would use to describe a person whose features don't match up. Their features don't align with their face. You know, maybe their nose is too big when you're drawing a picture. Maybe their eyebrows are out of place. Maybe their eyes aren't on the same level or something like that. That is disproportionate. You know, I, I like to sketch and sometimes I'm sketching a picture and I take a step back and I look at it and the left eye is much bigger than the right eye, that is disproportionate. So, if you look like something my left hand drew, or if you look like something my bad hand drew, my bad hand, my good hand, my bad hand drew, you're probably disproportionate. Again, you're making fun of a person's appearance with that one. So you make fun of a person, that motherfucker looks like something my left hand would draw. It's clearly insulting the person's appearance. Did you know I'm actually a lefty? I am left-handed. And I know quite a few other people who are left-handed. In Ireland, we call left-handed people kitog. C-I-T-O-F-O-D-G. Kitog. And kitog, when translated into English, means clumsy one. How about that? So, you look like something my left hand drew. Another great insult. He looks like something, she looks like something my left hand drew. The next insult, sharp as a marble, sharp as a marble. What is a marble? A marble is like the ball, like a really hard ball that you play. Kids have them and they play marbles and it rolls along the ground. They are round and they are not sharp. In this case, sharp is used not for, well sharp has two meanings in this sentence. One, if a person is sharp, they're quick, they're smart, they're intelligent. Nothing gets past them. If you are a police officer, you should be sharp. If you are a detective, you need to be sharp. Comedians are quite sharp. They're quite quick, for instance. And when we're talking about sharp as a marble, well, a marble is incred incredibly smooth. A marble is not sharp at all. So if you say to someone... You are as sharp as a marble. You're basically calling them incredibly stupid. The next one. You are... Oh God, this is horrible. This is a rank one. <laughs> um, I actually don't know if I should say it, but I'm going to. <laughs> You're a skid mark on the underpants of society. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You're a skid mark. On the underpants of society. I can't believe I just said that. Skid mark, folks. Um, 
when a person doesn't wipe their ass, they might leave skid marks on their underpants. Yeah, pretty disgusting, right? So, you know, poo on your underpants, basically, because you didn't wipe your ass, you didn't clean your ass properly. That is called a skid mark. And if someone says, you are a skid mark on the underpants of society, they're basically calling you a piece of shit. But, like, a society piece of shit. So your underpants are, like, boxers, jocks, knickers, underwear, whatever you want to call them. There are different names for different types, different names for the genders as well. And uh, briefs or boxers could be another name. So you're a skid mark on the boxers of society. That is really, really rough. Skid mark. The Yeah, let's just not talk about that one for too long. Google it if you want. Google skid marks and you'll see what I'm talking about. But that is, uh, oh yeah, that, that's pretty intense, I would say. If you say that, you're definitely going to piss someone really, really off. All right, the next one I love, absolutely love this one. It is a beautiful one. Wisdom has been chasing you, but you've always been faster. Wisdom has been chasing you, but you've always been faster. So wisdom is knowledge that you gain through life experience. Knowledge you gain in school by studying, by reading. But wisdom is like life experience knowledge. And you know, is it better to have wisdom or to have knowledge? Is it better to have wisdom or just to be smart? Me, personally, I think wisdom is one of the most important things in the world. And if wisdom has always been chasing you, but you've been faster, that means you don't have any wisdom because you're too fast for wisdom. You're, you're, you're outrunning wisdom. Wisdom wants to get you. Wisdom wants to help you, but you're too fast. So, oh, there's Ronan over there. God, wisdom has been chasing him, but he's always been that little bit faster. In other words, Ronan is a dope, basically. Okay, another one. Yes, somewhere on this earth, there is, a th- there is a tree that replaces the oxygen you breathe. Go find it and apologize. It's very descriptive. Isn't that a great descriptive insult? Somewhere on this earth, there is a tree that replaces the oxygen you breathe. Go find it and apologize. So, you know, trees, they uh, create oxygen for us. They absorb CO2. They release oxygen. They're very, very important. But you, you need to apologize to that tree for wasting the oxygen it created. Why? Because you're useless. You're a piece of shit. You're a dope. You're an absolute idiot. And that tree, if it knew what you were doing with the oxygen it created, it would probably kill itself. So there you go, folks. Somewhere on this earth, there is a tree that replaces the oxygen you breathe. Go find it and apologize. Another brutal one. The next one. (laughs) Mirrors cannot talk. Lucky for you, they can't laugh either. Mirrors cannot talk. Lucky for you, they can't laugh either either. So the mirror is that thing you look in, that thing that you look in to check yourself out. You know, you do your makeup in the mirror. If you're shaving, you might want to look in the mirror or something like that. And uh, you're lucky that mirrors can't talk, but you're even luckier that mirrors cannot laugh. Very descriptive. These are very descriptive insults. I swear, this is a really good uh, set of memes I came across. This one I've heard quite a bit. I like it. I envy people who haven't met you yet. I envy people who have not met you yet. So that is the verb to envy. Now, did you know envy and jealous are two verbs that people often uh, mistake, or two words that people often mistake? And I envy people who haven't met you. That means I wish that I had something the other person has. And the other person, what do they have? Well, they've never met you. So that's what they have. And I wish I had that. So those people are lucky because they've never met you. Those people are incredibly lucky because they never met you. I envy those people because they never met you and they have no idea how lucky they are. Oh boy. And the last one. Oh Jesus, this is bad. This is a bad one. You look like a before picture. You look like a before picture. A before picture. So often people when they go through when they go through some sort of transformation 
they have a before picture and an after picture before and after and you know it might be a case where someone goes on a diet and they lose 60 70 80 pounds of weight and they look amazing and they post a picture of before and after and everyone is like oh my god what a transformation what is the name of the actor who played Neville Longbottom in Harry Potter? Neville Longbottom. Well, if you look up the actor who played Neville Longbottom, Matthew Lewis, that's his name, Matthew Lewis. Google Matthew Lewis, and you will see before and after pictures. Basically, right now, he is a stud, S-T-U-D, a stud, an absolute gorgeous man, drop dead gorgeous, but take a look at the before pictures, take a look at the pictures of him in like the early days of Harry Potter or something like that, that's a before picture, and then look at the after picture. So if someone says, you look like a before picture, that's a pretty big insult. They're basically saying that, uh, yeah, we're kind of waiting for the transformation to happen with you, but it just hasn't happened yet. So folks, there you go. Now, as always, with these insults, I would say be very, very careful using them because you're going to piss a lot of people off. That is obviously the idea of an insult. You can say it to uh, your friend about someone or you could say it to someone's face. But if you say it to someone's face, be prepared for the consequences that follow. I am absolutely not endorsing these, but as an English learner, you need to know what they mean, and you need to know when you are being insulted by a person. A lot of these I would actually use with my friends. You know, if you have a really good relationship with someone, you can make fun of them. If you have a really good relationship with someone, you can absolutely insult them, but you don't want to cross the line, because once you cross the line, you go a little bit too far, you know, and it can be quite upsetting if that happens. But overall, with my friends, I would use some of these. So very quickly, number one, why don't you act like your hairline and take a few steps back? Number two, you look like something my left hand drew. Now, I said earlier on, I'm a lefty, I'm a kitog. So for me, I would say, you look like something my right hand drew. I am unable to use my right hand for art. I am absolutely horrendous at art with my right hand. So that's why I would say it. You are probably a right-handed person. So you would say, you look like something my left hand drew. The next one, sharp as a marble. He's as sharp as a marble. You, uh, what was the next one after that? You, oh yeah, you are a skid mark on the underpants of society. Rank, disgusting, horrible. Ugh, just the, the thought of it. The thought of that one is disgusting. The next one, wisdom has been chasing you, but you've always been faster. Somewhere on this earth, there is a tree that replaces the oxygen you breathe. Go find it and apologize. That's quite a good one. Mirrors can't talk. Lucky for you, they can't laugh either. That's that's definitely one I would use at my friends. Definitely ones I would say to one of my buddies. Lucky for you, the mirror can't laugh, because boy, oh boy, you look like a clown. Like, let's really think about that one. Mirrors can't talk, and you're lucky they can't laugh either. I would say that when a friend gets a haircut. When one of my buddies gets a haircut, I would just say straight up, wow, you're lucky the mirror can't laugh, just to poke fun at them. You know? So if a friend gets a haircut, use that. Or you could say, um, oh man, I didn't know your barber was blind. Oh man, I did not know your barber was blind. Or you could say, oh, did Stevie Wonder cut your hair? Stevie Wonder. Now, if you don't know who Stevie Wonder is, well, number one, for shame on you, you absolutely should go listen to his music. Number two, he's a blind musician, a blind musician. Or another thing you could say would also be, um, oh, did you happen to piss off your barber or something? Did you say something to piss off your barber? So just some good ways to, to insult your friend if they just get a haircut and you don't want to say, you're lucky the mirror can't laugh, use any of those. Anywho. I envy people who haven't met you yet. You look like a before picture. So folks, that is it for today. A very quick podcast teaching you some random insults in English that I just came across browsing online. I'm quite happy to have come across those because I wasn't sure what I was going to do for a second podcast this week. I hope you enjoy. I hope you learned something. And I think that is it for now. Take care. 
care.